a lot, Heather. Well, today's recipe gives you a new way to serve pasta with a fall twist. Stephanie Henley from 640 Homestead is making a pumpkin pasta sauce. That sounds yes. yummy. Never yes. tried it before. We've already gotten started here, haven't we? Oh, and by the way, the official kitchen uniform today is the fuchsia shirt. Did you notice that? Isn't that funny? We're just about exactly alike. <laughs> That's great. All right, so we got butter going in here in the pan. Yes, what do. else? Yes, we do. We're going to put in a little flour, make a roux. Okay. How'd you come up with this recipe? Uh, I was actually searching recipes on the internet when someone asked me about cooking with pumpkin. Yeah. So I, it's a combination of different things that I found, and it's something that you can still play around with. Yeah. Different spices and seasonings. And you grow all these fabulous pumpkins at your farm. Yes. yes. Okay, it looks like we got our roux going pretty well. What goes next? Next, we're going to slowly add in the milk. Okay. I'm going to crank this up just a little bit. And we'll cook that. So if you're cooking with pumpkin, what do you do first to get the pumpkin ready? If you're cooking with fresh pumpkin, what I do is I would take one, slice it in half, scoop the seeds out, set it face down on a roasting pan, mm -hmm. and then I'd roast it 30, 30 minutes to an hour. It depends on the size of the pumpkin at a 350 degree oven. Okay. So and when that's nice and mushy, soft, um, I scoop all the, the flesh out and mash it up. Uh, and if it's more than I'm going to need, I will preserve it in two cup packages in mm -hmm. a Ziploc and stick it in a freezer. For oh, that's great. So it freezes. I don't think I knew yeah. that. And yeah. you'll, depending on the pumpkin you use, you get a different color pumpkin meat each absolutely, time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. For instance, the top pumpkin there, the green and orange striped, is a speckled hound pumpkin. That's and so it has pretty. a lighter color mm -hmm. um, versus the fairy tale pumpkin on the bottom is going to have a deep orange. Those are so pretty. And just like this. Correct. All right. You want to put that in? Yes. So now we'll start adding in the pumpkin. How long does it take to put this whole recipe together? Um, about 20 minutes, maybe. Um, you'd really oh, want yeah, that's the, pretty. the milk to come to a boil. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want and that thicken. to put eight to two yeah. minutes and thicken. For the purposes yes. of TV, we're speeding it up a little bit. We is are. that cream cheese going we in are. here? It is. That so. looks really good. And what are our spices that are going in? Traditional spices with a little bit of an exception. So we're going to have some sage. Mm, nice. Fresh from the garden. Okay. A little salt. A little pepper. And then nutmeg and cinnamon. Nice. And so you cook your pasta ahead of time. And yes. all you do is just top it, right? That's it. That's nice. It. And you could add some other things to this sauce if you wanted to. Absolutely. You could add a protein. Um, a nice Italian sausage works well. Oh, yeah. Shrimp, shredded chicken. Um, you can change up the spices. You could do a ginger and cardamom. I've tried that. That's oh, very that good. Oh, that sounds yummy. If you want to go more traditional, nutmeg and cinnamon and uh, cardamom and ginger, mm -hmm. like a chai. That's great. I, I tell you what, this looks like it's going to be delicious. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. And thanks for Thank sharing you. your beautiful pumpkins, too. Those look absolutely gorgeous. You'll find this recipe in the Talk of the Town section at NewsChannel5.com. We are back with another look at the rain right after this.